Happy Corkin Monday, y'all. With Memorial Day around the corner and summer on its way, we're gonna do two recipes out of the cookbook for you that just really make us feel like having that summertime feeling. We're gonna start you off with, it's called My Crock of Ribs out of the cookbook and it's by Maggie Saro. And Jenna's gonna help me, I'm gonna walk her through it. So, these, you're gonna take three to five pounds of baby back ribs. Now, before we start this, I wanna show you that we are using a large seven quart crock. This is a recipe that if you're cooking for a crowd, you can easily double, but you're gonna need a large crock for it. Um, if you're just feeding, you know, your individual family, I would say you're perfectly fine using a five quart slow cooker. Five, six quart. Mm -hmm. So with these ribs, we've just cut them in half so they will fit down in the slow cooker. But if you're using a smaller crock, you might need to cut them in thirds or fourths. Um, okay, so on the baby back ribs, if you prefer to do beef ribs, go for it. If you want um, a different, you know, short ribs, go for those too. So onion, you're gonna top it with two um, large onions. We've just coarsely chopped them. And then two cups sliced mushrooms. And like we've said, I'm not a mushroom fan, but I do like the flavor. So I, this recipe works good with me because I get the flavor, but they're big enough to where I can um, pull them out if I, if I spot any in, <laughs> on my plate. Okay, for the sauce that you will top the vegetables and the meat with, you're gonna do one jar of your favorite barbecue sauce, and we've used a 28 ounce jar. And then you're going to add about two to four garlic cloves um, chopped, but I prefer more like four to six because I love garlic. So just add that to your barbecue sauce. One cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of red wine of your choice. Now, you do not have to use the red wine. It is totally optional. Um, but that was adding like three of my favorite things to a sauce. Like yeah. That was a pretty good trio right there that you're adding to you the know, and the, sauce. The alcohol is gonna cook out, so if you're worried about that and worried about feeding this to your kids, that is not a problem. It gives it a good it flavor. It does give it a good flavor, and it makes it, um, have a little bit thinner sauce that is nice to just pour over your ribs or dip them in if you wanted to. Which they're gonna fall apart anyway. They are. It takes very delicate hands to get them out without them <laughs> falling apart. And then, easy as that, you're just gonna pour it straight over your ribs. Gosh, it smells so it good. It smells really good. Like Jenna said, the mixture of the garlic and the barbecue sauce and the wine. And the brown sugar. And yes. Can't go wrong with that. No, you can't. So you'll cover that and you're gonna cook these on low for seven to eight hours. It's another reason why I love this recipe because it's a all day. Um, if you need to cook it a little bit faster, you can cook it um, on high for about four or five hours mm -hmm. and they'll be just as tender. And it's fine to sit a little bit after that time, also on warm. The next recipe we're going to do is a cobbler recipe. It's called Black and Blue Cobbler and it was submitted by Marcia Fisher. Now when you look at this recipe in the cookbook, it might scare you just a little bit because it is probably one of the more lengthy list of ingredients in the cookbook, but it is worth it's it. It's definitely worth it. You've got to try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. Um, you're gonna spray about a five quart slow cooker. You don't want it to be too big. You want it to be big enough or um, small enough around to where it, it is a little higher in a slow cooker so the inside stays moist and it's not spread out thin on a bigger slow cooker. So does it dry out? Yeah, basically. you don't want it to dry out. Okay. So you're gonna have this is a multi-step process also, so you can really, if you want to be crocking and have it simple, but you want to feel like you're doing a little bit on the prep. A this baking. is like, Yeah, a little bit of baking. This is a good recipe to try. So in a bowl, you're going to mix, I'm going to check my cookbook because this list of ingredients is so long, 
one cup of flour, and it could be all-purpose flour. Now the recipe calls for one and a half cups of sugar, but it's going to be divided. So for this portion of the recipe, we're going to do three-fourths a cup. Then I'm going to add in a teaspoon of baking powder. About a fourth teaspoon of salt, so I'm just going to put a little on my hand. A fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And a fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I'm not a fan of nutmeg, but in this black and blue cobbler, you can't taste it at all. I, it, the it, flavors it, that mix in this yes. recipe are really good. So you're just going to get that mixed up, get those ingredients blend it up in there. And then you're going to mix two eggs beaten. To that you're going to add two tablespoons of milk mm -hmm. and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. <clears throat> so I'm going to get that mixed up. And then you're just going to add this to your dry ingredients. And this is going to make your batter. Yeah, so talk about homemade. Yeah. This is homemade. From scratch. I love cobblers and so when and it's a good summertime dessert. It is. Eat it with ice cream. It's just not real heavy. Yeah, you can I just think about sitting on the back porch, letting the kids play and eating some cobbler. So I'm getting that mixed up. Now back here is where we're doing the second portion of the recipe. I have it already going because it needs to be boiling. We have two cups of blueberries, two cups of blackberries, and uh, three-fourths a cup of water, and this is where you're going to add in that remaining sugar. You're going to pour that over the top. And then it calls for a teaspoon of grated orange peel. So I'm just going to use pretty much the zest of one orange. I, I love the feeling of Memorial Day and it's starting off summer. My husband being a school administrator, it um, really starts the kicks off summer for us. So I love Memorial Day and I'm excited that summer is here. We, um, we always have a big family reunion for Memorial Day, and uh, there's probably, well, Chris, my husband Chris comes from a large family, so um, it's just really cousins and uncles and aunts. It's not even like great aunts, you know, it's just so, we probably have about 50 people come, and we spend the whole weekend go to the lake, hang out, eat a lot of food. Which this comes in handy because yes. you can do all this there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It smells heavenly. The orange zest in this really, real, I've, I don't cook with this a lot, but when I made this, it's, I said, it I'm going to start adding this so to, to my recipes because it makes it smell so good. The blend with the berries is really good. So you get that mixed up and let it boil, and then you're going to spread this batter down in your slow cooker. And get it down in there. Got a little bit of trouble. And this is a pretty thick batter. It's, I was surprised when making it that it turned out that thick. And you're going to spread that evenly down in the bottom. Then you're just going to pour that fruit directly over the top. And, and the batter will come up a little bit. It's just leave the fruit on top. You don't have to mix it or anything. You're going to cover this and you're going to cook it on high for about two to two and a half hours. Once the time is up, you're going to unplug it, remove the lid, let it sit for about 30 minutes, and we served it with ice cream because you can't have it without ice That's cream. That's right. Love ice cream. We hope you all enjoy um, our two summer meals for you guys, and hope you have a good Memorial Day weekend. Be safe. 
And happy crocking, y'all. Enjoy your families and have a great week.